In our world today, we are seeing less and less cars with big engines. The V12 is on the verge of extinction. Why? Well, because of the crazy high fuel prices and raising emission regulations, which make it pretty much impossible to build large displacement engines. Well, in the 80s, the world was quite a bit different. BMW's crazy engineers decided to build a 16-cylinder, four-door family car. The story starts on the 8th of July 1987, when BMW decided to develop a V16 engine that was codenamed Goldfish. Now, by the beginning of 1988, the engine was ready. It was put on a dynameter in January and February of 1988. Now, this engine produced 408 horsepower and 625 Nm of torque, which may not sound very impressive today, but it was a significant improvement over the 5 litre V12 M70 engine found in the 750i L, which only made 300 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque. Now, after the development of the engine, it was installed in the E32 7 series, which was known as the Secret 7, or as the Goldfish. Now, interestingly, this huge 5 meter long car didn't have enough space to house the engine and the cooling. As a result, all the cooling components got installed in the boot. Very practical solution, this. This also meant that the car had some interesting design elements, which I'm personally not a fan of, if I'm honest. This just looks out of place, but the fans in the bootlet do look quite cool. Now, this Frankenstein mobile was no slouch. The large sedan was able to hit 60 miles per hour or 96 kilometers per hour from a standstill in about 6 seconds, and she could go on to a limited top speed of 282 kilometers per hour or 175 miles per hour. It's like that fat kid from school that's still surprisingly fast. I can't say that, can I? But I digress. Anyways, why did BMW go through all the trouble of developing this thing? And why didn't they ever put it into production? Well, at the start of the project, BMW just wanted to make the 767 IL faster and more stable than the most powerful S-Class of the late 1980s. But they then kind of went overboard. The Bavarian company decided to modify the existing M70 V12 engine found in the 750 and add four cylinders. The result was this 6.7 litre V16 engine. But to prevent an arms race with other engine manufacturers, the V16 was never put into mass production. Instead, a higher performance version of the M70 was developed and used in one of BMW's coolest cars ever, the 850 CSI. Now, that engine did produce less power and torque than this V16 engine, but it wasn't bad for the time. It produced 380 horsepower and 550 Nm of torque. Now, like I said, it did make less power, but because the engine was much smaller and lighter, it was easier to use in different applications, and it could actually fit in the cars. But at the end of it, I have to say that this is kind of sad, because we all know that with where the world is going, BMW definitely won't be making a V16 now. So that was like their last chance and it never made it to market. But then again, trying to sell a four-door luxury car with no boot might be a bit difficult. Where would the mobsters put all their weapons? Anyways, that's the story behind BMW's one and only V16 engine that was installed into one of the coolest BMWs ever, this truly special E32 767iL. Now let me know if you know of any other really cool BMWs that I haven't made a video on before, or any other car for that fact, something I can go research. Um, now if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and if you like cars, this is the place to be. I make car related videos every week, so if you like cars, subscribe, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?